And then I gotta start from the edge of the door so you get the perspective. This here, this is my baby, Keisha. She is a 1988 Crown Victoria LTD LX. Now you see how you know she's a LX is this trim right here. Well, there's multiple reasons. Trust me, I'm finna go through them, but one of the reasons on the outside is this boy right here, that metal with the insignia, and then it has a full leather top. Well, it has a half leather top, but you get what I mean. And, um, you know, LTD Crown Victoria. Right now, she on a spare. Back when spares was white walls. Yeah, I remember. Um, oh, another reason that makes it an LX right here. Uh, you, I have all four of the original turbine rims with this. Uh, the other one in my dad in my dad backyard, and I got all the original drinks too. These right here are called drinks. So uh, another little insignia is well, this did this came with all of them. I'm not gonna lie, but you know I just love how the back got the little insignia. You know we we'll, we we'll, we'll look around. You know they came with these white body lines, but they gone now. Nah. Now we add it again. So let me go into the interior. Uh, my car a little messy. Y'all shouldn't judge me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me make sure. You know, just gonna get me bad. All right, but cool. This is the interior. Let me make sure I don't hit this guy car. All right, cool. The interior of the sub model would be leather this all is velour and then it's carpet usually it'd be carpet and then metal but um you know got that old school you hear me like where everybody can sit in the front ask some ask zach and trey about that and then um i got my little pop-out stereo little something nice i'm finna um I'm finna get a, what is it called? I'm finna get an amp because my uncle had gave me two uh, 15 inch subs to put in the trunk. Man, that's gonna make the trunk wobble so hard. It's gonna look like it's breaking, I swear. But, uh, oh, yep. Time to bring in the new information. The new... Under the hood. Man, I can't wait till I'm doing this one day with a 351 Windsor under this thing. Now, that's my engine, 5.0, electric, the EFI system, electric fuel injection. It's a little warm. And um, so as you see right here, we got the, oh, she cool too. That's good. So we got my new radiator. Man, all this used to be black because it was that old. But now she nice, she pretty. They clean the, I got, look, I cleaned the fan, the fan shroud. Then I got this little thing right here. You see, that's not even original. That's so that's supposed to be a gasket for um, up there, I guess. That's what they say. It says a fuel valve gasket. But I use this right here. And yeah, it worked. Look, this is what I mean when I say I needed a, a radiator cap and a radiator reservoir cap because you know you see this just a little circle so nobody really know what i'm talking about so i'm just like just give me a little a little rubber piece to put right here and boom so yeah this keisha for you specific cabernet red from 1988 and a half man do your homework on keisha she one on one you ain't gonna ever i ain't even trying to like i ain't even trying to talk myself up but you ain't ever gonna see a car of this trim model of this year and this color and this quality ever again ever again keisha one-on-one -on -one in this entire world 